Hi, this is Alice Strachison. Um So what I've got here is a uh, Stream Insight project and the first uh, project I'm going to load up is my Bing Maps uh, event listener. So this is just a regular Windows form control that's hosting the Bing Maps Ajax control. Um, you can see I can pan around it, I can zoom in, it's just a regular Bing Maps. Um, the thing that's different about it is that it's uh, got an event listener that's listening to uh, a stream that's going to be published to a WCF endpoint. So if I now start off my Stream Insight query at the same time, that's going to start publishing events. And what you need to look out for is this bit at the bottom right hand corner here. You see that started counting up, so that's receiving uh, the H5N1 um, avian flu event summaries. And it's plotting them on the map using uh, heat points. So uh, if we just drag around, and zoom in a little bit. Um, we're looking at 2004 at the moment, so all these events are concentrated in um, Thailand and uh, Vietnam in this area. Some going up into China there, a couple in Japan as well. And uh, because these are being plotted in sort of real time as they stream through the uh, Stream Insight engine, we can obviously pan and zoom around the map at the same time. We're not uh, we're not plotting these on a static map; they're coming through as, as data points, basically. And uh, if we just zoom out again and get a little bit more of a uh, an overview map, you can see the um, the areas, the hot areas in red there. And in fact, uh, when they get really hot, they'll turn white in the middle as well. So white hot areas show where there's a lot of events happening in the 30-day window up to the date that's being shown at the bottom right-hand corner at the moment. So each event basically remains active for... Uh, for 30 days and then contributes its heat to create these these hot zones. Uh, we're still at the end of 2004 at the moment so um, the uh, events themselves are largely still only concentrated in one geographic area but you can see they're becoming more intense. We've actually got some white uh, areas, white hot areas there appearing in the middle at the, um, the south of uh, Vietnam I think that's that's centred on and also at the north end of, uh, of Vietnam there. And what we'll start to see as we now move into 2005 is that um, in addition to the concentration, the intensity of those points getting hotter, we'll actually see the geographic areas start to spread. We've got some in Indonesia and up into China now. Uh, midway through 2005 there's a point there just started in Kazakhstan. And then we've just seen the uh, the first point there appearing in Romania and uh, Croatia. So we've got the first points coming through into uh, Europe as well now. Still the hottest area by far is, uh, is that northern tip of Vietnam. That's where the real concentration of events is coming in. But now we see a little outbreak occurring in Romania. And another one uh, spreading across Turkey now. And up into Greece. Meanwhile, there's another outbreak that started in France. And that's spreading, spreading quite fast now across the chunk of Western Europe there. Another uh, another mini outbreak. So we're getting little outcrops happening all over the uh, all over the time. It's actually being relatively quiet at the moment in uh, in Vietnam and Cambodia, where these uh, this outbreak started from. Uh, that at the moment, at least, has gone quiet. Although uh, I might have spoke too soon. Is uh, oh, we've got a little little thing at the northern tip of Egypt there, just uh, coming up. 